All right, YouTube, it brings me no joy to talk about this or to bring this particular topic up because, yes, it's literally a tale of two morons. So I found this on the Internet because, you know, of course, getting news feeds and everything else and being a big follower of world events, I found this little thing, this little snippet of Janine Pirro, who is one of the one of the most distasteful fucking trashiest people on Fox News. Well, I mean, everyone is a fucking joke on Fox News because that's what they are. They're a bunch of Trump fucking dick sucking neocons or just borderline fucking fascists. And I think Janine Pirro is literally the latter, but that's besides the point. She got into a big scuffle. A big scuffle with a guy by the name of Ger by the name of Geraldo Rivera over the fact that over the fact of a disagreement between the two of them over over Vladimir Putin invading Ukraine and everything else and she basically made the argument that Trump had everyone against the wall Putin was a wuss and then once Geraldo asked how she knows Putin wasn't playing Trump she fucking threw a temper tantrum so yes it's literally a tale between two idiots and I don't side with either of the participants that are involved in this because Geraldo Rivera is a he's a neocon himself he is literally no different than most of the other ones. And just because he got into this big scuffle with Ginny Perro, because he calls out the Republicans on their bullshit, because he calls out Ginny Perro on her bullshit, does not make him like a good guy all of a sudden, because he's not. A lot of people on the left that want to insinuate that he is are out of their fucking minds. Just like the people who say, well, this... A uh, Republican who criticizes Trump is good all of a sudden. Like they did that with Mitt Romney, they did that with John McCain, and that's what they do. But the reason I'm responding to this is because Janine Pirro deserves to be exposed at every turn because she's fucking trash. Everything she says is fucking trash. It's a fucking trash fire. It's a dumpster fire, and she has and she has a, about as much class as a fucking monster living in a dumpster. Because she she has no she has no class and no discipline and she's got no standards. And get this, Janine Pirro used to be a judge. I know, how sad. Only in America, folks. But yes, this is the minute and fifty-nine second clip of Geraldo Rivera basically fact checking Janine Pirro on this bullshit when Janine Pirro is saying Biden's a wuss, he's responsible for the decline of the West, he's destroying the West. This is what the this is what the this is what the fucking idiots at Fox News do. This is what Janine Pirro does at Fox News. This is what they all do. That that's what they do with everybody. This is what right wingers do. They blame everybody and anything for all of the problems in the US, in the West, and in the world on. They blame the Democrats, they blame Joe Biden, they blame Obama, they blame Bernie Sanders, and they blame it on everyone. And this is what Janine Pirro does. She's fucking trash. And everything she says is fucking trash. And this is what they do. This is why uh, Geraldo Rivera got into this big scuff with her. Because it's ridiculous. And this is what the neocons do with each other. Exhibit A. Or two. Judge, last word. I disagree with Geraldo. <laughs> Geraldo said it's not about Biden, it's about Putin. So the question that I ask you, Geraldo, is why didn't Putin do this when Trump was president? And I don't bring up President Trump that much, okay? But I tell you right now... You don't bring up Trump. You fucking suck his fucking orange dick every two seconds. You do nothing but Trump defense, Trump apologetics, day in and day out. That's what you fucking do, Janine. This is what you do on a daily basis. And God forbid, somebody on the right Someone who is probably more to the right wing than you are is coming out and calling this bullshit out. But this is what the right wing does. They smear each other and they smear one another whenever they get into a disagreement because that's what they do best. Now, that he didn't do it when Trump was president because he knew that Donald Trump would come in 
if you touch one hair on one innocent civilian, he wouldn't care NATO or non-NATO. And don't tell me that Putin isn't afraid of someone. Yes, Donald Trump to the rescue, like she always claims. Biden is responsible for the decline of the West. Oh my God, I stubbed my toe. I injured my foot. Joe Biden is to blame. What we are seeing right now is a, I can't say the word, is a wuss. <laughs> We've got a bully in the in the in the yard, in the playground yard, in the schoolyard, and everybody's back at the fence. All right. How do you know? All we, wait a minute. Let me finish. All we have to do is we, we have enough oil in Canada, the United States, and Mexico, and we could be our own superpowers. But right now, the Biden administration is not only hurting the Americans and all this hashtag blame Putin TikTok <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> This is crap. All he has to do is turn to America. Oh, this is crap. All oh, this is. It's like, oh my God, take your fucking meds, bitch. Like, you sound like a fucking cranky old libra uh, uh, librarian screaming at children in the, in the library. Pipe, pipe down, kids. Be quiet. Oh my God, this fucking woman is insufferable. This is why I don't do many responses to Janine Pirro because Janine Pirro is one of those people that are so fucking distasteful and so unlikable that I can't even do response videos like this. I can't even like break down a video. Here's what I think of X, Y, Z, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Boom, 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 boom. I can't do that with Janine Pirro. She's that unlikable. And let us be the strength. And he is know? destroying the West. How do you know that Putin wasn't playing Trump? How do you know? When, oh, stop! When you he wasn't he was, playing Trump. When, when Trump. He didn't was, invade. Trump was, was Trump. I, was I love Trump. I love it's Trump. It's not there. about loving I, Trump. It's it, about the fact that Trump. Yes, it is about loving Trump. You fucking kiss his ass on a daily fucking basis, lady. You fucking dumbass. This is what you do. You, I mean, okay, you know what? I've told a lot of my viewers, I've told some of my friends, that I would insult people less. And I don't want to insult people making videos all the time bitching about people. But you know what? It's stuff like this where it's so hard not to because there is no stronger words to describe just how stupid they are because Geraldo in this scenario in this one scenario is actually correct Trump had everybody against the wall how do you know and that don't think Putin it was anything think Trump different would give him I don't give anywhere. a damn what Putin thinks I only care what Putin did and he was a, a wuss when Trump was president and that's the end of it there you go. <laughs> that might be my favorite conversation of this whole year. <laughs> We're monitoring the latest from Ukraine, but in the meantime... Isn't it just great to see right-wingers just eat each other? It's, it's hilarious. Like, remember when I did that on the whole Tucker Carlson situation? Uh, Tucker Carlson situation with, uh, with uh, Ted Cruz. One slimy fucking neocon bitching at another fucking slimy neocon. So no, uh, in this scenario, uh, Geraldo Rivera is correct. But Geraldo Rivera is another, just another blind, he's just another blind neocon Republican. He's no different than the rest of them, like in all honesty. But it just so happens on this one thing, Geraldo is actually correct. So so if you put him in a room with, with Janine Pero and the other fucking dumbasses that work at Fox News, he comes out like the smartest person in the room. And he ain't even the smartest person in the room, generally speaking. I mean, this is the same guy that has said that, you know, he said all sorts of different things. He said all sorts of different things and all that uh, that are just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, need we go down the list? He's made he's made all sorts of COVID conspiracies and he made a false claim debunked by medical experts about COVID. If you can't hold your breath for ten seconds, everyone should do that. Hold your breath for ten seconds. If you can't hold your breath for ten seconds, then you don't have the disease. Okay, so yes, yeah, spewing misinformation, Alex Jones style misinformation. So yes, on that. Yeah, Geraldo Rivera, not a fan of the guy. Not a fan of him. I don't side with any of the people in this scenario. But it just so happens that he is correct. Because Janine Pirro is so fucking distasteful and classless that it makes him look at the smartest guy in the room. Because this is what right-wingers do with each other. This is what, uh, this is exactly what... Donald Trump did to Chris Sununu of New Hampshire, the governor of New Hampshire, when he was calling out Trump on his bullshit. 
That's exactly what happened. Trump was saying, I want him out of office. You're, he's a rhino. And then that's basically what Jeanine Pirro did in this scenario with Geraldo Rivera. This is what the Trump crowd does. Because Trump fanaticism and Trumpism is a cult. Right-wing fanaticism is a fucking cult. It is basically a cult where if where if if you where whenever there's a disagreement, whenever there's a disagreement, you are a puppet of the left, you are a rhino, you are a this, you're a that, etc. etc. All these fucking stupid names. And everything wrong in the world is because of Joe Biden. Everything wrong in the world is because of Obama and the Democrats and the left and blah blah fucking blah. That's what Janine Pirro does. This is what the right wing does with each other. Smear everybody whenever they get into a disagreement because that's what they do best. Because in Trump world, you cannot have a disagreement. You either you either love fucking Trump or that's it. You're a rhino. You're a liberal. You're a libtard. You're a leftist. You're a this. You're a that. That's how it is. So even someone like Geraldo Rivera, who is in fact a neocon Republican and perhaps more conservative than Janine Pirro, then has called Trump brave. Wished Ghislaine Maxwell well after, after a reporter questioned Trump over Maxwell's charges of helping Jeffrey Einstein, e Epstein traffic and abuse children. So yes, this is who we're dealing with here. So this guy looks like the fucking smartest guy in the room because of how bad Janine Pirro actually is. That's the, kind, that's the right wing of America, folks. That's the global right wing. It's this bad. And, you know, he's given, he's given other better talking points as well. Rivera said it was abhorrent that Palestinian children died in the bombings from Israel, retaliating against Hamas. So he does have some good takes to him. But generally speaking, no, I don't side with anybody in this scenario. I don't side with Janine Pirro. Obviously, I fucking despise, I fucking despise Janine Pirro with every fiber of my being. And I'm not a fan of Geraldo Rivera either. Geraldo Rivera is part of the... Trump defense cheerleading network. Trump is brave. Trump can do no wrong. America is great. America is the greatest country in the world. American nationalism, great no matter what. That's what Geraldo Rivera is. But on this, yes, he happens to be right. So whenever, so this is just how bad it is. If you do not d agree with every single one of my narratives, I say fuck you. You know, you're having an Anna Kasparian moment here. And get paid Monte. by the Yeah, fuck yeah. you. That's the kind of response. Like, Janine Pirro is basically the Anna Kasparian of the right wing. That's exactly what she is. Just as unlikable, just as intolerant. Because they like, remember what Anna Kasparian did to Aaron Mate and to Jimmy Dore when they got into a disagreement. That's what, they, that's what cults do with each other. That's what a cult is. It's, it's you are either team this, you cannot criticize. If you do, you're a this, you're a that. That's what they do. So, yes. It, it, that's what they do. So, Janine Pirro and her Anna Kasparian moment. Fuck you. Is basically what she said to Geraldo Rivera. Basically saying to Geraldo Rivera that you need to agree with every single thing I say about Trump because, oh, that's how it is. Oh, my God, he didn't invade under Putin. Oh, my God. Do you want to know why? Because, well, okay, it's got nothing to do with whether or not Trump was in there. It really doesn't have much to do with it, if anything. Okay, remember, Trump was threatening Germany over their gas deal with Russia. Germany's gas deal with Russia, Trump was bitching at them. So yeah, Russia probably was thinking, oh my God, this guy is a fucking moron. This guy is predictable. So no, I'm not going to do this. Okay, so maybe, but you know what? It's not a good thing because yeah, Joe Biden is not good, obviously, for a lot of policy positions. But this notion that like, oh my God, everything was so great under Trump, it's like, Oh my God, like, oh, the gas, oh, the gas companies, oil companies, whatever. It's it, it just going on and on and on and on. Everything is wrong. Everything is wrong in the world. This is you, Geraldo Rivera. You disagree with me. Fuck you. That's what you do. Everything is this. Everything is that. Everything is black and white. 
That's what you do with everyone you get into a disagreement with. It, there is never, never in this world is there ever an, a, a disagreement you can get into with Trump cultists. Charlie Baker is, an, is a rhino in the eyes of Trump. So is it Chris Sununu. So is it Mitt Romney. So isn't this one. So isn't Geraldo Rivera. So isn't any of these people. Any of these people. This is what they do best. And this is why... It brings me so much joy to see right-wingers destroy each other like this because it's hilarious and, and it's hilarious and that's why I wanted to comment on it today. Because you know that you are so bad. You are so bad that when Geraldo Rivera is the smart guy in the room, he is the smart guy in the room. He's like the smartest guy in the room because of how unlikable Ginny Perro is. Ginny Perro has has her has all of these moments, all these dislikable moments because she's a dislikable person. She's fucking trash. Yeah, a judge. This lady was a judge. A lady who is so biased, is so biased for the Republicans, is in fact was in fact a judge and was a prosecutor and a DA. Yes, people like this are part of our are part of our judicial system. And you know what they have? They have fucking fake news shows like Justice with Janine Pirro and all this other stuff. So yeah, if you want people to take you seriously as a law person, how about not have a fucking fake news show where you spew your fucking pro-Trump right-wing garbage that you do on a daily basis? And when anyone dares to disagree with you, fuck you. Oh, it's all this, it's all that. You can't. No, no, Trump is great no matter what. Trump can do no wrong in my eyes. I don't care about Putin. I don't give a damn about Putin. Oh my God. I don't care. You disagree with me? Oh well. Yeah, fuck you. I mean, what is there to say? This lady is insufferable. It's so, it's just gotten to the point now where... People like this need to be exposed at every turn. And it brings me no joy to talk about this because it's just so ridiculous. I mean, I, I mean, what is there to say? I, I think Janine Pirro, some people say, oh my God, Janine Pirro lost her mind. You can't lose what you never had. Oh my God, uh, Janine Pirro needs to take her meds. Was she ever on her meds? <laughs> oh my God, it's just... Oh, you gotta love the right wing. You gotta love the Fox News right wing. They're just... They're precious, aren't they? They're precious, aren't they? They destroy each other whenever there's a disagreement because that's what cults do, especially right-wing cults. I'm sure this is what the Bolsonaro crowd does with each other. This is exactly what they do with each other. Janine Pirro, all the time. You gotta agree with me no matter what. Trump was great no matter what. Now parrot me. Well, I, for one, am tired of investigations, politicians posturing. Something more has to be done. The stench coming out of the Justice Department and the FBI is like that of a third world country where money and bullies and clubs decide elections. It all started when Cardinal Comey destroyed our FBI with political hacks to set events in motion to destroy the republic because they didn't like the man we chose to be our president yeah well guess what we chose joe biden as president because trump was such fucking garbage but no it's not like you're not saying the same thing now oh my god well we can make the same argument against you the right-wingers don't like the fact that Joe Biden is president. So we could literally make the same argument against you. We can make the same exact argument against you, Janine. We can make the same exact argument because that's exactly what you're doing. You do everything that the, that you you do everything you accuse the left and the Democrats of doing times infinity. Call us and James Comey. The one who exonerated Hillary before the investigation was completed. The man who with one question could have indicted Hillary. Did you send U.S. United States classified information on an unsecure server? If she says yes, that's a crime. And if she says no, that's a lie. Fuck you. That's what I say. Like... This is just this is just snippets of this of this fucking lady. Yeah, this is just how bad she is. 
This is just how bad she really is. The Trump cult needs to be exposed at every turn. The right-wing cult needs to be exposed at every turn. Because they're just getting worse and worse by the day. So no, kudos to Geraldo Rivera. I don't like the guy, but credit where credit is due. Janine Pirro is fucking psychotic. But then again, it's Fox News. What else is new? Nothing is new at Fox News. Psychopaths are running the joint. And people on the center left and actual left like me and others will watch while they rip each other into shreds because it is hilarious to watch. Brings me no joy to respond to anything Janine Pirro has to say. Because at the end of the day, I could give two shits less what she has to say. Because she's that unlikable, that classless, that tasteless, and that irrelevant. But credit to where credit is due for Mr. Rivera. But seeing this, you got to give credit where credit is due. Janine Pirro is psychotic. She's crazy. She's got no principles, no self-awareness, and no standards. It's Fox News. What else is new? Oh, yeah. Nothing is new. But anyway, that's all I've got to say for today on this fucking trash fire of a story. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be back with more videos, more content soon. Hope everyone had a great St. Patrick's Day. Hope everyone enjoys their weekend. Stay tuned for more content coming your way, more videos on the way. This is Zach the Celtics guy saying thank you for watching. Thank you for this, and I hope you enjoyed this, this fucking um, trash fire of a story that I responded to. Because this is what we got to do. They deserve to be laughed at and exposed at every turn. And that is what I will continue to do going forward. Maybe not with this fucking woman, this fucking psychotic woman, but with other stories related to this. Yes, it deserves this kind of coverage. And I will be here to do so. And I will be here to, to bring awareness to all of this. Bye for now. Peace out. And have a good day.